Hi and welcome to White Wolf Yoga and to today's session where we're going to be breaking down in detail supported headstand. Before we begin, just a couple of safety points uh, to mention. If you've got head, neck or eye injuries, any osteoporosis, uh, headstand maybe isn't recommended. If you're not too sure, you're best speaking to a doctor um, before giving this a go. But we'll just take it as you've been practicing yoga for a while, you're building the strength and you're looking towards the next step of getting into your headstand. We'll just, we'll just start with doing a little bit of shoulder strengthening, just getting our muscles uh, warmed up where, in the areas that we need to target. So we'll begin in our tabletop position and we'll just take a few rounds of cow and cat. So as we inhale, we'll press up into a cow stretch. And then as we exhale, round back off into cat, pull our heart upwards between the shoulder blades and pull the navel in towards the spine. A couple more rounds, inhale to press up and open and exhale, round off and back, relax the head, relax the neck, one more we'll go, inhale, up and into cow, and we'll exhale, back and into cat. Coming back from cat stretch into neutral tabletop, we're going to take a shoulder strengthening exercise, that's, that's really, really nice for building strength across the upper back. So it looks a little bit like, at first glance, it might look a little bit like cow and cat, but the movement's actually quite different. So we want to keep our arms nice and straight. We're going to drop the heart and pinch the shoulder blades together. And then push the hands away and press the heart upwards between the shoulder blades. So the shoulder blades round off. And we'll go through a few of these. So drop the heart, shoulder blades come to meet. And then push the heart upwards so the shoulder blades spread. And we'll just go through a few of these. You can imagine someone's coming round and they're, they're placing their finger right on the middle of your, on, of your back. And when you drop the heart, you're pinching the, their finger with your shoulder blades. And as you press back, you're pushing their hand away. If this is quite easy and you feel like a bit more, try it from a full, a full plank position to the harder. Arms stay straight. Shoulders in, shoulder blades in, should say. Shoulder blades wrap. A few more, we'll do for another three. Push those heels back if you're in full plank. Two, one, let's have a rest. Drop to the knees, hips to heels, take a child's pose. So we want nice strong shoulders for our supported headstand. We will also want a nice strong core. So let's, let's just address that as we come into dolphin. So lifting up, bringing the hands onto opposite elbows just to gauge the distance. We're going to clasp our hands together. So we've got a, like a triangle shape here. We want to really root down through the forearms so the arms aren't just like resting on the mat. We're pushing them down and then a little way forward. We've got nice strong arms. The shoulders are stacked over the elbows. Head is relaxed. Tuck the toes. Press into the forearms and lift up, it's a bit like a down dog. And as we lift the hips up, we'll just pedal the heels, see how that feels. If you feel you can and you want to, try a little, a little step forward with the feet towards the elbows. Don't forget to keep rooting down through those arms. Head relaxed. Option if you're ready for a little bit more, try lifting the right leg up. Inhale here and as we exhale, can we bring the right knee towards the right arm and exhale back let's go two more inhale exhale back one more inhale exhale back release press through those arms lift the hips up nice and high draw the heels low go left side inhale lift exhale knee to arm take it back inhale lift exhale Knee to arm, one more. Inhale, lift. Exhale, knee to arm. Inhale, lift. Exhale, release. Drop to the knees, hips to heels. Relax and breathe. Reconnect to the breath, slow and deep. Okay then, from our child's pose, 
we'll pop up onto into should say kneeling position hips onto the heels and just rest here for a moment or two dropping the ear towards the shoulder on one side and then we'll just go over to the other inhale back to center and we'll come now to our step-by-step -step approach to our supported headstand. So with headstand, there's no rush of getting into the pose. We always, always want to prioritize safety, be kind to the body, don't force yourself into it. We're aiming for getting into our headstand using the strength of the core, so less kicking up into position. With that kicking up motion, we tend to have less control on the rise up and the rise down. If we can uh, approach the position using the strength of our body, then it's a much nicer and safer way of coming in and out of the pose. Okay, so step by step. Like dolphin, we want to align the elbows. So the shoulder width, you can just place them or you can, you can gauge with the hands on opposite elbows. And then we're bringing the, the forearms back down into uh, that triangle position with the hands clasped. Then we're just going to find the crown of our head. If you're not sure where the crown is, place your thumb between your eyebrows and then the first finger, wherever that lands, is about the crown. It's really important that the weight is on the crown of the head. That way, we've got a nice straight neck. If the, the weight's too far forward, like towards the forehead, the neck is going to get compressed. If the weight's too far back, like that, when we lift up, we'll just we'll topple over. So we want that alignment to be uh, nice and central on the crown. So we find our crown, and then we're going to bring the crown down onto the floor. The hands hug around the back of the head, and we're pushing nice and firmly through the arms. So much so that there's not really, there's not really that much weight going into the head at all. It's more the arms that are feeling this. Hold here, and this might be enough for you today. Don't rush into this. See how you feel. If you do feel fine and you want a little bit more, try now pressing through the arms, <clears throat> lifting up the knees, lifting up the hips into the next stage of our headstand. So nice and strong, press through the arms. See how you go, maybe walking the feet a little further in towards the heels, and then a little way back. Try again, a little way in, a little way back, let's rest. Knees to the ground, toes flat, hips to heels, child's pose. After every step of our headstand, when we have a break, we'll come back to child's pose and it'll just give our, give our mind and our body a little chance to, to reconnect, to relax, to assess how we feel and see if we want to go a little bit deeper. Okay. Next stage, if you want to go further. Lifting up, again, taking the crown of the head down. Pressing into the arms. Lift the hips. So we want to start to now walk the feet in towards the elbows until the hips are stacked over the shoulders. From that point, if you want a little bit more, really, really press into the forearms and see if you can pick the legs up and into the air. So you keep pressing down through the arms. Core in, navel to spine, and ribs in. Hold and breathe. When you're ready, nice and slowly, with as much control as you can, release the feet back down, knees to the floor, hips to heels, relax. So headstand can be uh, an intimidating pose to, to learn. Um, if there's anybody around that can help support you on the way up, that can be really helpful. Walls as well can be useful props. Uh, just be careful with walls though, that they don't give you too much sort of false confidence and you're kind of hopping into them because you know that support's there. It's more tempting just to sort of launch yourself in into the headstand. We want to come up as slowly and with as much control as we can. That way we know we're, we're going to protect our neck. And I speak from experience with, with that one. When I, I was learning uh, not, not in the best way, 
I was practicing headstand, kicking up, and I ended up um, injuring my neck through that. So I'm always really, maybe uh, over the top on the safety of this, but it's always better just to, to be really careful. The benefits from a headstand are amazing, but we, we want to do it. We want to do it sensibly. We want to do it um, with full awareness. So uh, but we'll have another go but before we do. Something that's probably easier to, to demonstrate in a standing position rather than when I'm upside down is the position of the body and what can happen when we're not, when we're not so engaged in our core and in our ribs. And you may feel when you lift up that you sort of go into this kind of banana -y shape where the back's arching a little bit, the ribs are open and the core's not, not zipped in. So if you imagine that you're upside down, we want to be less like this and more like this with our ribs knitted together nice and tight and our navel in towards the spine. So we look straighter than uh, like a bow position like this, hug it in. So let's have another go. From the starting position, hands on elbows, forearms in that V shape, crown of the head down, navel in. Pushing through the arms, tuck the toes, walk it forward. When you feel the hips are stacked over the shoulders, press, press, press into those arms and lift. Pull in the navel, rib zip in. Just hold and breathe in. For as long as you feel like you wanna, you wanna stay in this. You could try, if you're feeling comfortable, some variations with the legs, if you want. Just mixing it up, really testing that awareness, testing that focus. And then when you're ready, in your own time, nice and slowly, release down. Knees to the floor, hips to heels, and breathe.